Yeah, Cut of Love, Tweeter and the Monkey Man, I believe, originally written by Mr. Tom Petty, performed by the Traveling Wilburys, and then made awesome by Canadian's own Headstone. So, love that rendition, and I thought it would be an appropriate song for the, the topic we're about to dive into. I hope that copyright does not hit me. I believe that was fair use. It was a short sample size. So, in today's topic, we're going to be staying on the whole gay agenda thing, I guess. And this isn't something that I just focus on. It seems to be very apparent in today's narrative. It seems to be all over the place that people are having to apologize for things that are overreaching the boundaries towards children pushing a certain agenda from a certain group of people. In this case, Library apologizes for hosting Rainbow Dildo Butt Monkey to entertain children. Now, this, you can see a picture here of the guy dancing. He's got assless chaps, and he's wearing a like a grapefruit dildo on the front side. The interesting thing, too, as a Canadian, we, we have a band up here called Finger Eleven that used to go by the name Rainbow Butt Monkeys. And when you try and look up this story, sadly, all of their music is in the middle of this, almost as if they're being sandwiched between the dildo butt monkey. But let's take a look at what happened here. I'll show you a quick video of these people uh, coming out in their costumes here. So there you can see them dancing. But here you see them storm out. Get ready. We've got, there's the gay dildo first. Then we got a strawberry and a little lizard or chameleon or something. But look at this guy in the middle here. The dildo going assless chaps how did he sneak in there are so many levels of accountability that you'd like to know how this actually got in front of children at a library for a reading seminar what is this guy going to read to kids and how is this appropriate anyways a london library is apologizing for hosting an event where an actor described as a rainbow dildo butt monkey reportedly entertained children <laughs> Red Bridge Libraries hosted the Mandiga Arts Group at Red Bridge Library Summer Reading Challenge event Saturday in East London. The Evening Standard reported, Video footage and photographs posted on social media shows a number of performers outside the event, including an individual dressed in a rainbow monkey costume, exposing a fake buttocks and a fake penis. Okay, so they're not assless chaps, my bad. Still not any better. It is not immediately clear who the performer was. Can a word capture the spirit of an age? Images certainly can, tweeted Twitter user Dr. Jane Harris. In future, when we think back of the zeitgeist of 2021, we may remember Rainbow Dildo Butt Monkey and wonder how on earth we descended to thinking that this was suitable entertainment for children. Once again, we're banning Peppy. We're banning Dr. Seuss. But we're bringing in the Rainbow Dildo Butt Monkeys. Maybe they'll drop that song Circles. Look at this guy. I put him on the cover photo here, but you got to see this elaborate outfit. There's been a lot of rainbows in, in our threads lately, and Pride Month ended, didn't it? June? was. Anyways, here, both Mandiga Arts and the library apologized in tweets over the weekend. Redbridge Library tweeted distance, tweet, distance the library from the decision to bring the rainbow dildo monkey, butt monkey, to perform with the children. During an event put on by the... Oh, you know what? We're not going to go through all this. I think we get the gist of what they're talking about. Like I say, there's levels of accountability in this. First of all, the people who decided to hire this guy. The second, for this guy to take that booking, knowing that he's going to perform in front of children, how could he think that's appropriate? I think that that begs the question of what's on this man's hard drive? Who is this man? Does he have any priors? You want to talk about people creating a correlation between homosexual behavior and that other stuff. It's stuff like this that gives them that merit and credence in arguing that vertical of possibility. Now... A lot of people aren't, I should say, a lot of people who are homosexual do not agree with the homosexual or gay agenda as they're pushing it. A lot of people who, behind closed doors, live their private lives and fought in the beginning for the ability to just admit to others who they were, not necessarily parade it or throw it in their face, down their throat as we've gotten to today. Those people do not support this stuff. So to think that by saying that you are against this, then all of a sudden you're against gay rights or you're against you know, the ability to express oneself or tolerate or you know, all these terms that they talk about in that song we, we went over where they're talking about teaching children to be kind and teaching them how to be, like I say, tolerant. But they talk about how they're going to infect and corrupt the minds. What is this? What is this that they're doing right here? And like I say, it's appalling that it's even... We're in a state right now, like the lady said, it's the zeitgeist of our moment, that this is just, in a nutshell, the state that we've digressed towards. If you guys think that's appropriate, please smash that dislike button, because, yikes, I can't believe I said rainbow dildo butt monkey so many times in under a minute. 
If you appreciate the content, though, please hit the like button, smash subscribe, maybe even that notification bell, leave a comment. And uh, I don't know what to say to this. I don't even go looking for these stories. They're all of a sudden coming up in my feed. Where's the algorithm in that? Who wants to see this? I guess, uh, I don't know. Please explain that one to me down in the comment section, guys. Why does certain why do certain stories make their way around my desk, whereas other ones I have to go digging for? I'm a guy who's on a daily basis looking into things on philosophy and possibly the vaccine. Not Im never have I looked up rainbow dildo butt monkeys. Maybe they saw the feed of my finger eleven stuff and thought maybe this is something Aaron will like. <laughs> As always, guys. Until next time, peace out.